Behold the dragon, the all-terrain, super-fast, acrobatic, unstoppable, wall-climbing, fire-breathing monster. What's up guys, it's Cody here, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. Today I'm going to show you how to build the dragon for yourselves. As you saw in the intro, it is a pretty special vehicle, and I'm sure some of you would like to see it in worlds of your own. So let's get started. To start off this build, place down a 4x10 platform. You can use any materials you like. I'm using these ones because they are the materials that the existing dragon is built from. Now place the driver's seat directly in the middle and place controllers on the front and back. Place angled pieces on the front of those controllers and then place a thruster on the front and an engine on the back. Once you've done that, place bearings on all four corners of the vehicle and place angled blocks on top of those facing outward. Build two blocks out to the side from each of these angled pieces and put bearings on the end of those. Place blocks on the ends of all four bearings, place some more angled blocks above those if you want, then chuck some suspension on the underside of those blocks. Put some more blocks below the suspension and attach some bearings facing inward. Then put wheels on the bearings and the dragon is starting to take shape. At this point, attach two bearings to the engine and build one block on those. Now build up six blocks from them and attach a final block there. And then you're going to build two blocks in the horizontal direction and one extra block on the end. To prevent this thing getting stuck around trees, we are going to add some sport suspension on the sides of the vehicle and put blocks on the end of those. Throw down two switches and a button, and now it's time for the fun part. Wiring. Connect the bearings on the legs to the front controller. Set all of the default rotations to positive 60 and all of the activated rotations to negative 60. Make sure to adjust the bearings such that they will rotate in the right direction. Connect the bearings on the frame to the controller on the back and once again set the default rotation to positive 60 and the activated rotation to negative 60. And again, adjust the bearings so they will rotate in the right direction. Connect the driver's seat to the engine and the engine to the wheel bearings. Then connect the driver's seat to the bearings at the four corners of the vehicle. Now connect the switches to the controllers and the button to the thruster. Then connect those up to the driver's seat. You can change the power of the thruster and the engine to your liking, but I'm going to be leaving the thruster at the default and the engine at the third from the top. The dragon is now fully operational, but there are still a few decorations left to make, so if you feel the need, go ahead and add those on. Our dragon is now fully operational. Let's take it for a spin. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If for some reason something went wrong and the car isn't working for you, I will leave a download link to this world in the description so you can just hop on here and use the car without needing to build it at all. But if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials, creations and other fun videos. That's all for now. See you later.